Folks, this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Just going to go over a little bit about what it takes to be a tech in this field, a diagnostician. I don't consider myself an RV tech. I do all your uh, motor homes, class A, B, C's, pop ups, high back, heat and ventilation, air conditioning. Also, do drivability on cars and trucks, diesels, gas. I am a diagnostician. And I know I got a lot of mechanics on here, and they can't survive without figuring out what's wrong. So, I got some basic rules. One is test, don't guess. And the other one is I got a simple question. Why are you working on something that you don't even know how it works when it works right? And you're trying to figure out when it's broken. So that's where the video before this, way, way before this was called MECP, Mechanical, Electrical, Chemical, Hydraulic, and Pneumatics. All right, so here we are. Now, I think we want over some of this, but basically that's a smoke analyzer. It develops us smoke that I can find small leaks, wind noises, you know, like you're driving down the road, you know, all right. Here's my battery station chargers, some more battery station chargers. These are extra work glasses, like 10 pair in there, because I go through them. Uh, I get under a dash, I get mean and ugly. And there's my one scanner. That's a snap on, it's about six grand, plus a bunch of updates. Here's my OTC scanner. Um, been around for, I don't know, I've had that for 20 years. And yes, it's updated. And also, this goes with it. This is my five gas, my five gas analyzer. And I can analyze your gasers if they fail emissions. Helps me troubleshoot a little better. Um, all right, so the first drawer, is a Pico 4 channel lab scope. This is sitting around 3K right here, just this little box. Plus, I bought some extra stuff in it, so it's got another grand worth of extra stuff. And then you got Ford factory scanner, um, some GM stuff. But there's a bunch of cable adapters that go to that one right there. Uh, this is what I call my wrench drawer. I got several types of wrenches. You got ones that bend over. We got 12.6 point offset, 60, 30 degrees. We got double ratcheting. We got types of ratchet that flip, right? And these teeth are squared. That way they fit rounded nuts and bolts. These are my quick, what I call palm ratcheting wrenches. Here's my favorite set. I just beat the heck out of these because um, I can break it in. And if you look at it, it's professional. See, it's not dead in the center, it's offset, so you can get closer or a little bit further away so your knuckles don't get beat up. Um, but we all know that happens. Here's what I call my screwdriver drawer. All right, but there's other things. There's trim stuff, 90 degree offset hoses. And then this is the USC. This is the standard drawer, which most of it's at the other garage because RVs have a lot of standard. Here's my specialty socket drawer. Here's all your Torx screwdrivers, of course, more Torx bits. Um, these are when bolts get stripped. I got low, I got small ones, I got low profile, deep well for length. I got square drive, like for your differential service. And this is your stud removers. Here's triple square point of 12 points there's a bunch of Torx Torx tamper proof and square square drive 12 point Allen more and more all these get used on a daily basis um, is what I call the plier drawer just to let you know I'm organized and I do work on RVs I'm anal um, so your system's done this is the half inch drawer Okay, there's your three quarter sockets. There's other sockets, deep well, all kind of. These are neat. You can get in tight spaces with these. They're, it's called a tight reach, see? And these things actually work. I got them in half inch, three eight and quarter drive. Um, and we go over here. This is the heavy duty drawer. I don't do too much of this anymore. Ball joints, tie rod in, removers, um, all kind of accessories, slide hammers. This is for like serpentine belts. This is to take the clutch systems off your alternators. And this here is crazy. It's a snap-on thin socket or thin wrench set. Uh, let me open it up for you here. 
That's like 600 bucks. It's crazy, but I do use them once in a while. Look how thin they are. Okay. Compared to a regular wrench. Let's see. Compared to a regular wrench. Watch. See it? And this is a bigger wrench, so if you go compatible with size, like right here, you can tell the difference. And you're saying, well, that ain't a lot of difference. Well, it is to us, us mechanics out there. Okay. So, close that up. I'll fold that up later. All right. And then here's your spark plug socket, special socket, sensor wrenches. Uh, this I barely use, but it's pretty neat. So, the handle spins. So, you can hold that in and then turn this handle, and it turns that head there. Here we go, we got another drawer, it's called my hammer drawer. That's one of my hammer down. Uh, specialty drawer again, all about line wrenches. These are butterflies. So you, you got to turn them in the direction. It goes around the nut and gives you one heck of a bite. And I got all types of sizes. Here's your special E wrenches. All right, and there's your line wrenches with flexible head. Now we can just keep on going, folks. There's so many dollars involved in what these mechanics do and these techs do. Remember, I'm a diagnostician. I don't do a lot of heavy wrenching. But I need to get stuff out of the way to troubleshoot. So here's another electrical drawer. Here's another. This is AC. I got the machine at the other garage over in Seaford. Um, a little bit of propane welding solder and stuff like that. That's my battery drawer. Of course, we all know your service your batteries are real good. All right, so there you go. And here we go. That's your engine drawer. Engine done. Obviously, you've got an old stethoscope, and there's tools in there. Face CO2 detector. See if you got a small head gasket leak. Here's your uh, air impact system. All kind of different that you beat on. Here's your clutch fan clutch nuts removers uh, wrenches oh and for you old timers out there you all remember these we used to punch out our own gaskets remember those yeah i've been building tools for like i said in 60 in june the 9th 2021 i'll turn 62 so i've been saving this for years now it's 50 years in service as a mechanic and diagnostician so these gauges all here are like for high pressure, you know what I mean? Look at that. That darn thing goes up to 10,000 PSI. That's high pressure oil pump on your Huey systems for diesels. Um, like I said, yes, I do diesels. Now, these are the electronic ear. I did a video on these. I put them on the chassis, and it's cordless. All right. I got a little pad that I write stuff down. And I got six transmitters because... Sometimes on them big diesels and all that, they make such a noise, you got to find it. Here's your drill drawer, all right? You got straight angle snap on. And here's electric snap on, two more electric. There's an electric 120, these are battery operated. Uh, there's your cam time and chain set, like you do your uh, V10 Ford. Here's your pneumatic drawer, cutters, grinders. Right there's your gasket scraper short. There's your there's a short and there's a long one. You hold that right there. Cutting wheels, 3M only the best. Uh, and then we got you know your tap and die set, standard metric, easy outs, um, coils. And then there's that's an inductor. That thing gets hot and gets a bolt nice and hot. There's your quarter inch drawer, all kinds of stuff, battery operated, extensions, measuring drawer, yep, even something simple from a tape measure, down to windshield one ounce per inch, the spring tension, micrometers, drum micrometers, which we don't use too much anymore. Uh, this is my scraper drawer, cleaner, we put these in, clean holes out. And that pretty much covers it. 
well, of course we got more over here, pressure gauge. We got a fuel injector cleaner system. We have that, it's very good. It tells pressure and flow, okay? That there alone is $800. Um, and there's work boots and sometimes the crap gets deep. I got to put them on uh, That's all to do with brakes. I sit on there and do brakes which rarely happens anymore This is where I cook my lunch and dinners or if yeah, sometimes I'm over here and I'll lay down for 20 minutes there, so That's just a brief and there's more tools at the other garage in Seaford that uh, I made a video on once again, thank you. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Don't forget to join my YouTube channel and also my website, www.rvdiagnostics.com. That's where I help you one-on-one -on -one troubleshoot your RV through video chat, like right here. I'm watching you do your work, and I'm guiding you.